Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today we're going to open some more P.O. Box mail. Now, I have all of these that I picked up a couple of days ago, but I'm not going to open all of them um, right now. I'm actually going to open half. And there's two reasons for that because normally I would probably open six or seven mails in one video but now I'm going to do three a video and the reason for that is A, um, I'm currently because of this weird situation all of us being at home doing three videos a week so naturally I need to film three videos a week so it's nice to be able to um, do some PO box mail opening for that and the second thing is that I, um, the last PO box mail opening videos that I did were an hour long. So I thought uh, it would be nice to kind of alternate between videos that are an hour long and a little bit less long. So I'm going to open these uh, today. I'm, I think I'm just going to make two piles. This one I am going to take out because this is a beautiful package. I didn't want to show you the envelope because as you might be able to guess from the style, uh, it is coffee themed. Just absolutely I should. Hope that helps. Um, it's coffee themed. It's an absolutely wonderful package, but she asked me to open it offline um, and not show it on camera the inside of the envelope which I did um, I, I can tell you that it's coffee themed and it contains at least three of my favorite things it had chocolate coffee and brand new socks I mean <laughs> can you make me anywhere happy and then she also included a little tin of coffee sweets and a couple more goodies and of course a lovely letter so I, I I have said this, I haven't said this in a long time I think, but that is always a possibility if you do not want me to open your mail on camera for whatever reason. You can always write that on the envelope, let's say right here, like please open offline. Or what she did is she messaged me afterwards saying, Vivian, kind of changed my mind, um, would you mind not showing it on camera? So <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. So I'll do this pile the next time, I promise that will also be quick and then I'll do this pile now. I also like shorter videos because... My friend Kira Pace, she also does, um, her videos are called Happy Meal Friday and she also does like uh, sometimes shorter Happy Meal openings just depending on what she picks up because I think she goes a lot more often and I like those videos as well so I think maybe this could be good. I'm just going to take a quick picture for the thumbnail. I'm back. I had to get my phone because I have some exciting news. This month is the first month. Uh, in a long, long time that I have had more outgoing mail than incoming and that's a big deal for me because, well, first of all, obviously in a lot of countries, um, mail service is disrupted. Like, there's countries that do not send out mail or at least in my country, the Netherlands, I still receive and send mail but it goes a lot more slowly. So, naturally, that's part of the reason why I have less incomings but I also have a lot more outgoings because I've been home the whole time and I've been on a roll with creating so many outgoing mails, a lot of packages, a lot of um, letters, and I've just had so much fun. I also replied to a lot of my pen pals, so that's good. I feel like I'm finally uh, on top of things, but this obviously, like, this is one of the first times that I've had more outgoings than incomings, which obviously relates a lot to the fact why I do not promise to reply to everyone. I simply cannot. I still have, I think, around 50 pieces of mail in the to reply pile, so can you imagine me trying to frantically reply to 50 people while there's new mail coming in? That would just be way too stressful, so I talked about this a lot, but no, I do not reply to everyone. I still do get this question quite often. Um, I wish I could reply to everyone, that would be absolutely amazing. But even in this time that I'm like home 24-7, I still don't have the inspiration, the time, the patience, the peace of mind to reply to 50 people. So um, as much as I would love to, I still use the random number draw, which means that I randomly draw a number and I reply to said number. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot. I'm also going to do that now, of course. Um, these are my piles. But I did want to, of course, tell you the people I've replied to because it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I think it's like 10 PO Box replies, which is probably a new record. Um, oh, wait. This one has no return address. So I'll do a random number between 1 and 6. And this is also... This card is from Tamara. So uh, that's why I took it out as well. Let's see. Random number 0, 6. 
Throwing in the ROG06, please. And what I'm doing, number two. This one is for Stacy. So Stacy, you are definitely getting a reply. And then that does not mean that everyone else does not get a reply. No, no, no. You still have a big chance of getting a reply. It's just going to be um, <coughs> me picking from this. This is my two reply pile. As you can see, this is the 50 pieces of meal I talked about. This is not the entire meal. This is literally just the envelope and the letter. So can you imagine how bulky this would be if I tried to include all of your goodies as well? So I did want to tell you that once again, I promise I'll get into the mail opening soon, but there's that. I don't reply to everyone, I have replied to a lot of people. Last time I told you that I replied to Nikki, Hannah and Seher, I think I told you last time. <clears throat> In between the previous PO books filming <laughs> and this one I have replied to Louise from Australia. I replied to Tamara in Germany, that one has been received. I have replied to Chantala in the Netherlands, that one has also been received. Replied to back in Australia, sadly not, not arrived yet. Replied to Leah in Germany, um, Zahewa, I'm hoping I'm saying your name correctly, in Canada. Replied to Puya in the USA. Replied to Aliana in India, Ronya in Germany, Chloe in the Netherlands and Amber in the Netherlands. So. As you can see, I've been super productive. I think I replied to, what did I say, 10? I replied to 11 pieces of PO Books mail and then I also sent out mail to my family. One, two, three, four, five, six to friends and family and I sent out two postcard swaps and I sent out one, two, three, four, four pen pal letters. So as you can see, I've been super busy and me writing letters to my pen pals also means that I can now again focus on PO books mail. So oh, I feel super productive. I'm super happy to, in this crazy time, send out mail to as many of you as I possibly can. That was a super long introduction. Last thing I'm going to say is that if your country for some reason does not receive mail, please let me know in a comment down below. This doesn't mean that I won't write to you. I'll just keep it on a separate pile and I will send it out when I can, when mail service has been continued. Hmm. Now it's time for me to actually open this meal. I have something special with me today um, to open the meal. This is a, a letter opener that belonged to my grandpa and grandma. Um, I know I talk too much, but this is something I did want to share as well as all of the other things. Um, when my grandparents passed away, I didn't really take anything of emotional value. I, I don't. I, do, I always thought I wouldn't need it, but then the years later I started to really regret not having someone to remember them by, other than like <laughs> the coffee machine or our uh, garden set or something like that. But I really wanted something that I remembered being from them. And when I was a kid, I was always obsessed. They had two letter openers. I was always obsessed with them. This is obviously one of them. Uh, I couldn't stop thinking about it because how applicable is me as a kid being obsessed with a letter opener and me having a meal hobby years years later so i decided to reach out to my family and ask hey is the letter opener is one of the letter openers still in the family and would it be possible for me to have it my aunt actually had it and now uh, she gave it to me as well as a bracelet from my grandma so <laughs> that this is a letter opener with a little bit of a special story and i'm going to use it to open the meal I know, I know, I know, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting to opening the meal. I'm just gonna go one at a time. This is a postcard I received from my friend Tamara. I have replied to Tamara a little while ago. Um, she sent me a Visit Berlin postcard, which is actually pretty cool. Usually I find these Visit City postcards kind of cheesy, but this one is quite pretty. Usually they'll have like uh, pictures with flowers on them and <laughs> stuff like that. And then she wrote to me something really, really sweet. Um, she wrote to me that she watched my live stream and that she thought I was so brave for doing them. Uh, so she thought she would send me a postcard just to tell me that I'm awesome. I mean, isn't that incredibly sweet? And she also included a beautiful stamp. I will show you up close. There's a beautiful stamp with a sunset or something. I think that's pretty cool. So there's a little meal from Tamara, absolutely adorable. I will hang that on my door. <clears throat> then let us continue to this one. This one's from Ashley from the USA. Pretty stamps again, and I also really like this uh, 
how would you call this address label? <laughs> address label, pretty address, address label. I'm super excited I get to open the letter with the letter opener. It actually has a, a year on it, I think as well. No, it doesn't. I think my dad told me the year they got this because it's a souvenir from a city close to the sea. My dad told me the year. I'll have to ask him because it's pretty old. It's a souvenir, so it's not like actual silver or something. It's just my dad has formed memories of this, so it would make me happy as well. So, Ash, let me see what you have sent my way. Oh, first of all, I can see a letter for you, Vivian. I am going to take a sneak peek because I am a curious person. I obviously won't open this on camera. Oh, vanilla chai. Oh, it's a big letter, and this is, I felt something through the envelope. Oh, sorry, I will show you that. Okay, there we go. This is what I felt. I could feel that it was like a little bit thicker on one side, so I, that's why I was curious. And there's this beautiful cutout that says thank you with a beautiful floral image. I absolutely love that. <clears throat> so, and this one I could see at the top corner this one was written at the end of March so it's actually arrived pretty soon it only took two two ish weeks which is pretty fast for uh, traveling from the USA okay first of all obviously I already saw the vanilla chai tea that's incredible this is one of those bags that you that's like airtight so you cannot have actually sniff the tea I'm still gonna try <laughs> then she decorated a pretty doily for me with a pretty butterfly. I hope you guys can see this all right. And I can see a little loaded pocket, a little loaded tag. Very nice. I can see some cat stickers. Wait, let me just take everything out. What is this? Hmm? Oh, that is funny. I think this is like a match stick, but there's like a little, um, how would you say this? A little, prompt on the back it says experiment with a new material or medium so i think this could be from like a box of things that would tell you like creative challenges or something probably it's in the letter i will have to see oh she includes some really pretty little cutouts oh that's upside down these are like little polaroids and these are little paper scripts strips <clears throat> Oh, some beautiful used per uh, stamps. Beautiful used stamps with some apples and some strawberries. We'll have to share those with my neighbor. Uh, some washi tape samples. I can see a male themed one. And then a travel themed one and a couple like super tropical ones. Okay, I'm just trying to grab the beginning of this because I want to show you I think this is male themed one because we have like the the red and uh, blue stripes that would be really yeah, it says cartable style postal postal card <laughs> it's like in French I think this would be perfect for decorating envelopes can you see that all right um next up some pretty papers Ooh do the things definitely address label material choose your own adventure with pretty silver foiling and these washi strips washi strip stickers how cute what a pretty bundle and then of course the little sticker pack in a pretty vellum like envelope so there's that what a lovely bundle definitely going to try the tea soon and <laughs> because you know i love my vanilla chai i love vanilla i love chai so could there be a better combination? I think not. So, thank you for that lovely meal, Ashley. I can't wait to, wait to read your letter. And of course, you will also go on the true reply pile. There's definitely a bigger chance of getting a reply now because I'm writing so many letters, but um, yeah, I don't know, no promises, but I really hope to be able to reply to many of you. It would be quite fun if I could do another 10 the upcoming month that would be absolutely incredible next up is this mail from miranda i first want to say she has the most gorgeous stamps let me show you up close again that one is my favorite and little fox i love it 
Yeah, last week I actually gave my mom or my parents the stamps I had collected for our old neighbor and he was so happy he nearly cried. I think this one I might keep myself <clears throat> because first of all it's beautiful and second of all I can see that it's from 1998 and probably he already has all of those from those years. These are from 2003 and 2005 so mm, they're a little bit in between. Maybe he has them, maybe he doesn't. The ones he definitely doesn't have are from 2019-2020 so I always send him those but this is kind of too pretty <laughs> to just give away if um, if I, I don't know I don't know if I can let go of that so it's gonna be a little bit of a mix between keeping them myself and sending them to the neighbor but the ones I did send him it was a box full and once again he nearly cried happy tears um, I did open this as you can see but uh, what I did is I peeled out the letter. The letter was somewhere in there and I peeled it out and I read that because I was really in the mood to read a letter and I haven't actually received pen pal mail in two months, nearly two months. So I, I was really in the mood to read a letter and then I saw this. Absolutely incredible. I wonder what the order was. She made like, um, she made, uh, like she, she made paper look old with I think tea or coffee and then she wrote a typewriter letter on there which is super cool <clears throat> but you do have to tell me that you first make it old and then the typing or first the typing and then the coloring I, I just want to know and it was, it was so decorated with the little butterflies and little elements so absolutely wonderful what a beautiful letter I have never um, like I, I do have a typewriter myself and I've only written letters on them like once or twice so I know how much work goes into it and she was afraid that I would find a, t a written letter more personal than a typed letter but I can definitely say this was very personal very perfect as well <laughs> such a treat to receive um, <clears throat> I do have one question about the typewriter if that is okay also for all of you who might have typewriters do your typewriters have exclamation marks because I could f I could see in this letter it doesn't have this letter only has like question marks and dots and commas no exclamation marks and mine also doesn't have an exclamation mark but I was just wondering if that's like a common thing I do this thing where I combine one of those apostrophes with a dot to make it look like a, an exclamation mark but <laughs> it just feels weird not to be able to use exclamation marks. Then this is the rest of the mail that I have not actually looked at yet. I can see that she gifted me these gorgeous gift bags, a very very pretty. I'm actually wondering if these are handmade, I don't know why I'm wondering that but these are nice very pretty paper these could be really fun for decorating or collaging on top of um <clears throat> sorry i'm a little bit out of it and then this is the flip book i think she used magazine clip out if i'm not mistaken which is so cute and it matches the patreon challenge we have going on at the moment if you don't know about Patreon, um, it's linked down below. It might be easier to check that out than to explain it every single time. But the challenge of the month is to use magazine clip arts. And look at that. It says to Vivian, you are enough. Which is super sweet. And then two of my favorite, or three of my favorite things. Coffee, books, cats. Perfect. Oh, and it has all of these little elements. Oh, you can peel off the stamps if you want to use them. Oh my gosh, yes, please. This butterfly one, this butterfly, why is it from? Magyar Posta. Magyar Posta. Can someone tell me where that is from? <clears throat> I, I wouldn't know actually. Mag Magyar Posta. Magyar Posta. Budapest. Ah. Okay, that is, I've never actually, I don't think I have a stamps from this origin before um, before I say anything stupid I'm just gonna move on but I think I think this is from a tutorial because I remember that I also received a mail from the Netherlands once that I had this exact same layout I think please 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 Miranda if you're seeing this link it down below because I want to check it out or maybe she just made this herself that's also possible I'm all over the place then this little pocket is filled with goodies and she has a black chai tea this little envelope that says for you. Let me open it. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, you are too kind. She gifted me all of these gorgeous 
little, um, I don't know what you call them in English, but in Dutch we call them poetry pictures because people would use them in poetry albums. I don't know if that's like a typical Dutch thing. Do tell me what you call them in English. They are the images that are like connected with little, connected together with little paper strips like that. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, I'm making a mess. <clears throat> So that was in this little envelope and then there's also a Winnie the Pooh something oops and some more of those poetry pictures I think of very colorful birds wow <laughs> tropical birds and there's the Winnie the Pooh plan ahead many a bear going out on a warm day would never think of bringing a little something with him Control your stress levels, it is for me, to seem quite at ease, hum tiddly pom once or twice in a what shall we do now kind of way. <laughs> oh my god, who else loves the word hum tiddly pom? <laughs> that is adorable. <clears throat> when you go after honey with a balloon, the great thing is not to let the bees know you're coming. Have a friendly day when you've been walking in the wind for miles and you suddenly go into somebody's house and he says, hello poo. You're just in time for a little smackerel of something, and you are, then it's what I call a friendly day. <laughs> Goodness, this makes me want to read Winnie the Pooh again. Hum tiddly bum. <laughs> oh, this is actually an envelope. First this pocket. Underneath the surface. That. Underneath the surface. About me. I like spring most of all seasons. Me too. Mm, this is a little bit of information about her <clears throat> and then this is another little uh, playing card that says in Sweden there is a saying the moose is king of the woods what <laughs> I need more explanation and then I think this is uh whoa okay wait 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 I can see some napkins which is very nice for decoupage <gasps> oh this one with the birds how pretty how pretty little blackbirds with the beautiful green oh this is perfect actually because <clears throat> my friend Brittany challenged me to do a green themed meal I might have to put that aside <laughs> and then this looks like Moomin a Moomin napkin can I admit I've never actually watched Moomin but I know some people who have so I might be able to use that for them and then last but not least is this <gasps> whoa this is cool okay okay open it whoa Okay, if you open it like that, but then, I think I'm completely ruining this, but then on the back side, this is so cool. This is so cool, it's like, I have no clue how you did this. Is this a song lyric? I think it might be a song lyric. All, <clears throat> and, all, and all my walls are stood tall, pointed, painted, Blue. Oh, and all my walls too tall painted blue, but I'll take them down, take them down, and open up the door for you. Hmm, I feel that this is a song lyric. This is so cool, look at that. <laughs> Ta-da! 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 <gasps> that is cool. That is cool. Could be like a little hidden message something. <laughs> I want to figure out how you did that. That is the meal. This is incredible. What a cute little flip book. I'm going to recreate that. So if you guys want to recreate it for yourself, it looks like this is an envelope. Obviously, this is an envelope. And then these two pockets are simply glued on the front like that. Ta-da! There you have it. Super simple, but actually really, really pretty. So that was the last meal I'm opening today. Uh, stay posted for the next one. I'm gonna get finish my coffee that is now one cold. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Don't forget I do a third video or a live stream each week just to kind of keep us together, <laughs> keep us um, inspired, I don't know. Um, so keep an eye out for that and uh, yeah. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I also have Patreon, like I said, in case you're interested in supporting my channel, but no pressure. Um, that's it for now. I'm tired. Goodbye.